What's up YouTube, it's Mr. Ferguson here once again. Thank you guys for coming back for another video here in Central North Carolina. That's right, we got old uh, old St. Nick's hat on, we're in the holiday spirit. Um, and before we even get to the introductions and all that, I just got done filming the uh, Mr. Ferguson vlog midweek quickie for this Wednesday, uh, which is when this video comes out. So when you're done, hey, go over there and watch the Mr. Ferguson vlog channel if you're interested, uh, talking about the days and times that we're in where we're canceling Jesus and <laughs> talking about Christmas is all about him anyways, but yet we don't want to talk about the reason for Christmas. So go check that out if you're interested. I thought it went pretty well, so check it out. Uh, we're, we're sporting the new shirt on the back. You guys know Jesus is king representing the birthday boy for this month. So thank you for tuning in today. Let's jump right into it. Um, recap from last week quickly. We put down right before some rain came in, we put down some 0025 green kick, which is a potassium turf fertilizer. And we mixed in with that 101, which is a little bit of urea, a little bit of potassium and 8%. It's really a calcium app of calcium. And we mix those two together. We sprayed it. And I will tell you visually, I don't know if you guys will be able to tell behind me, but man, it darkened up the lawn. Uh, you would think 101, 1% nitrogen wouldn't do much, but man, it really did make it a darker green. I've seen it compared to Mr. Brandon's and Mr. Kevin's across the street. I saw it darken up a little bit. So it kind of blew me away. Maybe the natural rain helped with that as well. But, um, we did that. So I want to talk about today what I meant to talk about last video, but we were just in too much of a hurry. So we're going to get into that in a second, but also uh, update on the ethofumisate. We've talked about POA constrictor. We've talked about a Mr. Kevin's lawn, the Etho 4SC. They're both basically the same thing. Ethofumisate is the active ingredient. It's supposed to prohibit or stop POA. Um, so we, um, I'm, I'm not forgot. I am going to update all of you, but we have to be able to see you know, some POA annua in the area and say, okay, now that we know POA is coming up by visibility of seed heads, we know that that's POA annua. We'll be able to go and, and look at the lawn and do overview in Mr. Kevin's lawn, as well as my front lawn. Did it make a difference? In my backyard, we're also going to update you on the Dithiapir we did in September. We did one app and then we did another split app. Um, I believe in late or early November, we did the other bit of Dithiapir in my side and backyard. Is that going to help stop POA annua? We're going to give you all these updates as we go along. Uh, like I said, we're in North Carolina. We're still warm. We're in the upper 50s to we've had several frosts where we come out and looks like it's snowed on the ground. So we're getting colder, but the ground is nowhere near frozen. So anyways, just wanted to give you those quick updates. With all that said, uh, we're going to go over here and I'm going to show you my last fertilizer app that I'm probably one or two, probably one, uh, but I'm going to show you that. Like I said, we've had some frost show up, so I'm not sure uh, when I'll throw this down, if it'll be sooner or later, but let's talk about it. And let's talk about that term that we always have to talk about this time of year called winterizer. So before I put you back on the tripod, I do want to show you, look how dark green that lawn is. It's looking pretty good. Um, it's the grass is definitely slowing down. I'm finally beginning to see here in North Carolina. I cut it um, probably four or five days ago and I'm noticing it's definitely even as much urea we've been putting down. It's not growing wildly or anything like that. The temperatures have come down and so it is slowing down. So that's good, but it's still looking dark green and looking phenomenal. So for winterizer, ta-da! I've got some protein here. Here's uh, what I just ordered recently. I meant to tell you last video, it is 19019 by protein. Um, we'll talk about that in a second. Let's talk about the content of the bags at 0.8 pounds of N, that's four pounds per thousand square feet. Uh, do not apply near water, blah, 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 blah. We got all that. Um, tell you, Neil, what's inside the, the guaranteed analysis, 1.8 ammonical nitrogen, 3.3 of the urea, 5.2 other nitrogen, 8.7 water insoluble nitrogen. We've got the potash, which is 19%. Sulfur is at 8.6%. Um, and iron, we got 0 0.01 of iron, 0.5% total over here on the right side. And I believe that's it. And it gives you what's derived from down here. If you want to, there's ammonium sulfate in there, potash, iron, um, and all that good stuff. 40 pound bag, it does cover up to 10,000 square feet. Um, so uh, I would basically put down all of this besides a very small amount down here. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, the prills are very small. I went back to protein, guys. Uh, that's what I wanted to show you. I, I was highly impressed this past season in the fall. 
um, in the spring with the protein. Um, you know, at first, uh, I've mentioned this several times when I looked at protein, it was like, man, I'm not paying $75 for FERT, but I can get, you know, flagship for 55. I can get, you know, stay green up the road for, you know, 50 or 60 bucks or whatever. You can get a cheaper fertilizer. But man, when I begin to use the protein, it lasts as it's advertised for, it advertised for up to 90 days. So three months of green continued feeding for the lawn. Now I will say, and I've talked about it with my buddy, Mr. Blake at church and Mr. Kevin, Mr. Kevin's not used the protein yet. I don't believe, but, um, protein seems to last very well and it keeps your lawn green for at least, I would say 75 days. I won't go 90. I think those last 15, it does begin to wear down a little bit, but man, I was highly impressed. Those pictures from the intro that was with protein. If I'm not mistaken, that was a protein uh, feeding uh, that you're seeing in the, uh, the, the intro with the aerial shot of my drone, it came from protein. I've been highly impressed with it. I wanted to buy the winterizer. Um, again, when we talk about winterizer, that's just a term. It's a marketing term. You've heard that from a lot of different people and a lot of different sources. It, there is no quote winterizer. It's a higher side of nitrogen and sometimes with potassium because we're headed into the winter months. As I alluded to last video, I'm in North Carolina. We don't have very many tough winters here in North Carolina. Uh, sometimes it can stay roughly in the 40s all winter and then we go into spring. It can get down into the 30s. Sometimes it can get down to the upper 20s and the teens. You just never know in North Carolina what you're going to get. But this is not our big stressed out point for our grass. It's summertime for us. If you're up in Pennsylvania, if you're up in New York, if you're up in Michigan, you guys have brutal winters and Jersey, all of you guys, y'all have brutal winters. Y'all don't have as tough. And sometimes maybe you do have tough summers, but you may want to make sure what is our potassium for? It's our stress reliever. It's supposed to help us be able to endure tough seasons, tough conditions. So that's why at winter, we want to put some nitrogen in and we want to lock in that nitrogen. It's like locking in the color we have when the grass finally stops growing and everything just stops um, that we're locked in with some nitrogen with some green color and then in the spring it kind of picks up where it left off and that nitrogen that it didn't uh, use is still there to be able to use it at least that's the understanding I have and then our potassium is supposed to help in strengthening our plant with the snow and all the the uh, the, the hard conditions that it's able to withstand it and it doesn't you know damage it and it's able to stay strong and look healthy throughout that so that's the quote winterizer there is no you know you'll see it in Lowe's, you'll see it in Home Depot. Here's a winterizer bag. Get the, so don't be fooled. If you get anything with, you know, a 2608 or a 1909 or, or anything, any FERT will be fine. And you've heard, I think the LCN, Alan Hain talk about that. Any FERT you put out. Now here's the caveat. I've heard Ryan Knorr, great channel, great, obviously building a business over there. He does a great job with his uh, content. Uh, Ryan Knorr says he don't like to use winterizers because uh, when he puts down FERT and then the season comes to an end, come spring, his grass begins to jump up so fast. He has to mow, 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 and he don't have time for that. So he don't like to do a final, you know, strong, high nitrogen fertilizer in his lawn, at least the last video I caught, which has been several months back, uh, probably last season, but he don't like it because then it gets, it, it forces you out to mow quickly in the springtime when temperatures come up. So do consider that if you're like, yeah, I'm, I'm with Ryan. I don't want to get out here and mow. So some people are anxious to mow after the season. Some people are like, ah, I don't want to get out there and mow. Um, so it depends on who you are. And if I could lock in this color right here at my lawn for the rest of the season, I'd be happy. So uh, again, um, I've got this in my shed. I've got this here with me now, 1909. It is the quote winterizer from GCI Turf for protein. So just wanted to show that to you. Uh, this is my quote winterizer. This will be my last feeding. And again, it says 10,000. I may only do half this bag and uh, because I don't want to come out and, and mow, you know, in, in the cold and, you know, with the scarf on or anything. So wanted to show it to you. Never tried this product, this protein blend. Um, so let me know if you've tried it last year, or year before how it did, but I'm really impressed with protein. I don't think you can go wrong with it. And uh, if you're looking for something to put down as your quote, final app, consider protein. I don't get any kickbacks. I don't get anything for mentioning it um, from GCI Turf. I just, again, support GCI Turf for who they are and what they represent. And I think you'd be happy with this product. 
So there you go, keeping it brief, keeping it as quick as I can in uh, Mr. Ferguson terms. I don't want to blab on. Um, we'll, when we lay this down, I'll show you if we do lay it down. I may hold on to it and just keep it for the spring or for uh, a couple more weeks. I don't know. If we get some rain coming in, I may jump out here and throw it down and then tell you guys about it. I like to show you everything, but it depends on I'm going to use that rain if I can. Like even right now, we got some sprinkling going on. I'm like, man. It might be a good time to put it down, but I don't I don't think I'm going to do it right now. But thank you for tuning in. Let me know as far as winterizers. Are you guys throwing down? Are you one that says, nope, I don't like to put anything down. I just let my grass chill. And then come spring, I'll fire away with a pound, you know, or pound and a half of nitrogen per thousand. How do you guys like to do it? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Comment um, again. I, I've been very happy with protein. If you've used protein, let me know below if you've ever had an issue or problem or didn't like it. Um, let me know what you're using. I'm just interested and curious. So another one of those winter videos. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Hope you have a fantastic day and we'll see you on the next Lawn Care video.